All right, morning everybody. Another round of coffee and questions. What's today's topic? Okay, I hate uh, the idea I keep making these videos on this Badger 250, but uh, I'm really enjoying owning this thing for the hobbies and things that I do. Um, I've got it right here. Okay. This is the way it shipped, this is the way it came, if you look at my previous videos. Now, what I've done since then, I was waiting to do this video, is I ordered some additional accessories, we'll say. Okay, so what did I order? Well, I had ordered this. Now, this is the Badger. It's the same one, really, as the one I just showed you, but it's larger here. I'll leave all the product information below. This one accommodates larger jars. Um, I'm looking around to see where the larger jar is. I wanted to show you, give me just a second. Okay, here's the larger jar. Now, that smaller one that I just showed you right here in this cap, they're meant for this size bottle and the medium size bottle. This is the medium size bottle. It's got lacquer in it. This brush works totally fine. I used it for years that way. And then along the way, not too uh, in the recent past, I went ahead and I got the bigger one right here. And I wanted to try it. Now it works great. It just holds a larger volume of material, whether it's lacquer, varnish, whatever you're using. But then I ran across a problem. I was having a lot of difficulty finding where to buy the longer pickup tubes. This is the pickup tube right there. And I finally got one that manages to work, but it wasn't the correct one for this unit because the one that comes with this unit is made out of a stronger kind of plastic material. But I finally found the product number, I'll drop it below, and you're able to buy additional ones and they're real cheap. Now somebody said you can use aquarium tubing. It's too pliable, I found it to be too soft. It's not impossible to use, it's just didn't seem right. I was buying some other stuff that I'm going to show you. I went ahead and I bought the correct pickup tubes, which like I said, I'll leave the link below. Now, what did I buy? Okay, so I decided along the way I was going to buy the other tips that were available. This one's called the large hole tip and spring. Now, this is going to give me an even more uh, coarse pattern or, uh, you know, uh, the other ones are more of a finer pattern, but they work great. Don't get me wrong. You can get by with those without a problem. These were only a few dollars. I got them on sale. I went ahead and I got these. And then I went ahead and I bought a couple of backup tips while I was doing that. So I got a coarse tip for both spray guns and then I got the other finer tip, well, just to have as a backup. So three tips as a backup, okay? So what's the advantage here? Well, I don't know. We're gonna try the larger course tip today live uh, and I'm gonna video it. And then I'll give you my thoughts on was it worth purchasing or should I just stuck with the finer tips? Now I got the additional fine tip because I'm gonna put it on the large one. So I can have a fine tip on each, I can have a coarse on one and a fine on the other, whatever, it doesn't matter. But I just wanted to see what the difference were and a few bucks a piece. I can kind of hone in on what's gonna work best for me in you know spraying these finishes on smaller projects that I do. So I don't use the big HVLPs, et cetera. So I'm gonna stop the video, let's get things set up. Let's go ahead and demo this and let's see what happens with it. And I'll be back with you here in a minute. All right, you might hear the locust in the background, but right here, I've got that large jar and I'm using that coarse tip. Uh, this is the first time, I just wanna see if it's gonna spray better. Here we go. All right, let it set for a few minutes dry. That's the first coat. It seems to work okay at the moment. All right, second coat coming up. Okay, looks pretty good, works pretty good. So I'm gonna let that sit and I'm gonna keep building up coats and uh, I'll come back with you now. I don't okay, I'm gonna start this part over again. This is the larger jar with a coarse tip. I believe it's more meant for coarser or thicker viscosity material. This is pretty thin, this lacquer, and I put just a dab of lacquer thinner in there. So 
those finer tips are probably going to work best for me when I use this. But if you use a thicker material, this coarser tip would work very well. I'm going to go over and check my pressure. I'll tell you where I'm at. We'll spray another coat and we'll wrap it up with some questions. Okay, I went and checked. I'm around 38 to 40, I usually 30, 35, but that's dependent on everybody's compressor, their filtration, and their setup. That's what works best for me on this. I'm a little bit closer to 40. And I get about six inches or so away. All right, so that was just a quick, like uh, kind of a quick tip, a quick demo on the coarse one. Uh, one more time, probably meant for thicker viscosity material, thicker than what I'm currently using. Still a good addition to put in, it was only a few dollars for the tip. The finer tips seem to work really well for me on the thinner material. Pressure settings are going to differ depending on your compressor, your filters, and everything else. Um, I would tell you, generically speaking, like I said in the last video, start at around 25, spray it on a piece of cardboard, look at your pattern, play with the spring-loaded tip, see if you're getting the pattern you like. If you kind of are, but you don't feel it's coming out right, try to adjust your pressure. Mine is anywhere from 25 to 30, somewhere right in there. Sometimes I'm above 30, 30, 32. It just depends on uh, each time I spray it. I'm getting to where I'm pretty good. I just spray it out in the air and I can look at the pattern and kind of tell. Sometimes I bump up the pressure some. You just got to play with it and this little spring-loaded tip also affects the pattern. So, I mean, all you have to do is play with that. But these are quick tips. I will leave the tips, the product numbers, everything below so you don't have to go through some of the stuff I went through looking for the pickup tubes. Um, that's it for this video. Uh, I've probably done like four of these by now on this little Badger 250. I love this thing. It comes in so handy for so many things. It's got different sized jars. If I'm using just like to make a lid, I can use the small little jar, put some lacquer in it, put whatever I want in there, spray it. If I'm going to do a bigger project, I'm using Danish oil or any combinations of things, I can use the larger ones or the medium one. And it's nice to know they have more than one spray tip. Okay, you got the fine, you got the coarse, and you got longer pickup tubes. So that's my advice. I'm gonna end the video. There's not a whole lot to say that I haven't already described on the previous videos. I hope you click subscribe, stay with me, and drop me a comment. I mean, like I said, if you're using these, let me know what you're using them on and how you're using them. If you got something better out there, let me know. But for $20, Ships Prime, I mean, this was a good deal for me. Uh, I'm glad I bought it. This is the third one that I bought. The first one was my fault. I messed it up. You can see in the past video why, what I did wrong, and I give you the tips on how to take care of it. I'll talk to you folks over the weekend. We will do more how-to videos or product reviews. I'll see you soon. You folks have a great day. Bye-bye.